Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll explain parallel plate waveguide. Before I start with my explanation, let me show you how many points that I'm going to cover in this video. See, first of all, I'll be discussing about basics of parallel plate waveguide. After that, I'll explain modes of parallel plate waveguide. After that, I'll explain you calculation of cutoff frequency in parallel plate waveguide. After that, I'll explain you calculation of tilt angle with parallel plate waveguide. After that, I'll explain you intrinsic wave impedance of parallel plate waveguide. And at last, I'll discuss about phase velocity and group velocity of parallel plate waveguide. So let us begin this session with first agenda that is basics of parallel plate waveguide. In parallel plate waveguide, two metal plates are there in parallel to each other. And in between two metal plates, there will be air or dielectric material. You can observe here by black color, metal plates are shown. In parallel plate waveguide, we have two parallel metal plates. And these two plates are separated by air or dielectric material. In parallel plate waveguide, EM waves propagate due to total internal reflection. If you observe the side view, then here we have two parallel plate. Here EM wave that is propagating based on total internal reflection, right? So in parallel plate waveguide, EM waves are propagating due to total internal reflection. In parallel plate waveguide, fields are contained between two parallel plates. So here one thing that you need to understand, see in terms of structure, there is a similarity in between parallel plate waveguide and microstrip antenna. In microstrip antenna, electromagnetic waves are radiated in the space because of fringing. So in microstrip antenna, fields are not contained between two plates, while in parallel plate waveguides, electric field and magnetic field that is bounded in between two parallel metal plates, right? So in parallel plate waveguide, fields are contained in between two parallel plates, while in microstrip antenna, fields are radiated in the space because of fringing. That is not happening over here with parallel plate waveguide. Otherwise, in terms of structure, both structure are identical, right? See, in parallel plate waveguide, TE, TM and TEM mode can propagate. If you have seen my last video, in that I have explained with rectangular waveguide, TEM mode is not possible. But in parallel plate waveguide, TE, TM and TEM, all three categories of modes are possible, right? See, it offers high bandwidth with single mode. So with parallel plate waveguide, one should know we have two parallel plates separated by air or dielectric material. And here, propagation of EM wave happens due to total internal reflection, where electric field and magnetic field that is bounded in between two plates here, TE, TM and TEM modes are possible with parallel plate waveguides, right? Now, I'll explain you how modes are there with parallel plate waveguide. In parallel plate waveguide, we have TE, TM and TEM modes. Let me explain you how. See, here with TE mode, transverse electric mode is there. What is the meaning of transverse electric mode? Transverse electric mode means electric field is perpendicular to direction of propagation. So if I say here this EM wave that is propagating in Z direction and here we have parallel plate waveguide where this direction, vertical direction that is there in the direction of X axis, then electric field that will be varying in this direction electric field that will be varying in this direction that is the direction of x direction so in transverse electric mode electric field that is varying in x direction as if direction of propagation is there in z direction and here this electric field that is propagating towards z direction and it is varying with respect to time so this electric field that is varying in x direction propagating in z direction and varying with respect to time that is perpendicular to direction of propagation. 
and this direction of propagation is there in z direction right if you observe tm mode then here the em wave that is propagating in the direction of z axis here the electric field that i have shown that is varying with respect to x axis over here but in tm mode magnetic field that should be perpendicular to the direction of propagation but here magnetic field that will be varying perpendicular to this page and that direction that is there in y direction so here i'll be showing it by dot over here i'll be showing it by dot over here means it is varying perpendicular to this page right so here magnetic field hy that will be there and that is perpendicular to z axis right as direction of propagation is there in z direction so hy will be varying in the direction of z with respect to time t and that is perpendicular to direction of propagation and direction of propagation that is happening in z direction right here with parallel plate wave guide tem mode is also possible see in tem mode we will be having electric field and magnetic field both are perpendicular to direction of propagation so in tem mode electric field that will be varying with respect to x axis over here and it is varying with respect to distance z and time t and magnetic field that will be there in the direction of y direction and it will be changing with respect to z and t and both are perpendicular to direction of propagation and direction of propagation is there in z direction right so that is how te tm and tem mode is there the te means transverse electric means electric field that will be perpendicular to direction of propagation here magnetic field will be perpendicular to direction of propagation in tm mode so tm mode is having variation of magnetic field that is happening perpendicular to this page perpendicular to this page means it is there in y direction so hy will be there that will be changing with respect to z and t where direction of propagation that is there in z direction which is perpendicular to hy right and in tem mode we will be having combination of te and tm mode so here in tem mode electric field will be varying with respect to x axis magnetic field will be varying with respect to y axis and ex and hy both are perpendicular to direction of propagation z right now i'll explain you cut off frequency calculation with parallel plate wave guide cut off frequency of parallel plate wave guide is based on operating mode of parallel plate wave guide let me explain you how the cut off frequency can be calculated by fc that is m into c divided by twice a into square root of epsilon r here m is 1 2 3 and so on and that is based on operating mode of parallel plate wave guide here c is velocity of light in free space that is 3 into 10 to the power 8 meter per second this a is spacing between two parallel plate and this epsilon r is dielectric constant of material which is placed in between these two parallel plate wave guide here this m defines operating mode if you want to understand mode then at m is equals to 1 here with this spacing a we will be having half wave you see half wave means wave will be appearing like this at m is equals to 1 at m is equals to 2 we will be having complete wave over here that will be happening somewhat like this where with complete wave m is equals to 2 will be there at m is equals to 3 we will be having 3 by 2 times of wave length over here at m is equals to 4 two complete waves will be appearing over here so that is how mode defines how wave length will be there in between these two parallel plate right now i'll explain you tilt angle in parallel plate wave guide tilt angle is based on incident em wave inside two parallel plate wave guide let me show you how see here we have side view 
of parallel plate wave guide and here we have incident electromagnetic wave so electromagnetic wave that is traveling based on total internal reflection right so this incident wave that is making angle theta with respect to direction of propagation and this angle theta is tilt angle right so tilt angle is the angle of incident em wave with respect to direction of propagation if you want to calculate tilt angle then sin theta that is equals to fc divided by f by this equation one can identify tilt angle where fc is cutoff frequency and f is operating frequency now i'll explain you intrinsic wave impedance of parallel plate waveguide when we talk about transmission line at that time we talk about characteristic impedance or impedance matching but when we talk about waveguide at that time we talk about wave impedance or impedance matching with parallel plate waveguide we have te mode tm mode and tem mode intrinsic wave impedance of te mode that can be calculated by eta of te and that is 120 pi divided by square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square see this fc by f that is what that is sin theta where theta is tilt angle right so if you place that over here then intrinsic wave impedance for te mode that will be 120 pi divided by square root of 1 minus sine square theta. 1 minus sine square theta that is cos square theta. If you take square root of then intrinsic wave impedance in TE mode will be 120 pi divided by cos theta. Right. If you want to calculate intrinsic wave impedance in TM mode then that is eta of TM and that is 120 pi into square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square where fc by f that is sin theta so if you place sin theta over here then you will be having 120 pi into square root of 1 minus sin square theta 1 minus sin square theta is cos square theta if you take square root of then you will be having 120 pi cos theta that is intrinsic wave impedance of tm mode right and intrinsic wave impedance of tem mode that will be 120 pi only right so that is how intrinsic wave impedance can be identified based on different modes of parallel plate waveguide remember this with tem mode intrinsic wave impedance is 120 pi only with te mode and with tm mode it is based on tilt angle and tilt angle can be calculated as per sin theta is equals to fc by f right now i'll explain you phase velocity and group velocity of parallel plate waveguide see with parallel plate waveguide phase velocity that is vp and if you want to calculate vp then that can be calculated by t divided by square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square where fc is cutoff frequency and f is operating frequency here group velocity vg that can be calculated by c into square root of 1 minus fc divided by f whole square and if you want relation in between vp and vg then that is vp into vg that is equals to c square right where you will be observing if you multiply this two then square root of 1 minus fc by f whole square that is getting cancelled so one can say vp into vg that is equals to c square that is how you can do analysis of parallel plate waveguide i hope you have enjoyed this session still if anything i would like to share just note it down in comment section i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video